with your sister? Well, not really, just hang out. I always tell people, if you have only one day in Los Angeles, make it a train day. <laughs> train day? The fun starts with brunch at Carney's in Studio City, a hot dog stand in a converted railroad dining car. The next stop, Travel Town, an outdoor museum featuring 43 railroad engines, cars, and other rolling stock from the 1880s to the 1930s. Then finally, we're off to the glitz and glamour of Hollywood for dinner at, that's right, the Hollywood Carney's, a hot dog stand in a different converted railroad dining car. I don't think we're gonna do that. Well, then apparently you hate fun. Oh, Freya's not back yet? Well, I guess that's not unusual. Women, man, the whole sitting, standing deal. So what are we talking about? Uh, my plans with Priya. He rejected train day. Did you make it clear that it's two different train cars turned into hot dog stands? Abundantly. I guess he just hates fun. That's what I said. OK, so what's new with you guys? I have a girlfriend now. Hey, good for you. Yeah, I just want to put it out there in case I inadvertently squirt any pheromones in your direction. <laughs> Happy? So, Priya, uh, what are your plans while you're here? I don't know. I just have the one day. Do you like trains? Not particularly. You might as well just wait at the airport for your flight. <laughs> You are in a forest. There is quicksand to the west. A path leads to the east. Go east. An iron gate blocks your way. Open gate. It's locked. Hmm. Well, so much for that. It's getting pretty late. How come you're still up? I found an emulator online that lets you play classic text-based computer games from the 1980s. That's pretty cool. Oh, yes. It runs on the world's most powerful graphics chip, imagination. You've really got to get out more. Go north. You can't go that way. Go west. A troll blocks your passage. OK, fasten your seatbelts. <laughs> Kill troll. With what? With sword. You don't have the sword. Good golly, it's as if it's actually happening to me. Raj finally went to bed. Yeah. Oh. Sheldon's still up. You said he goes to bed at night. Yeah, he does, but he got caught up in a computer game. And... Hit troll with axe. Hit troll with axe. Hit troll with axe. Oh, Mama, this is one tough troll. Can't you get rid of him? If the past is any indication, no. Leonard, I'm trapped in quicksand. The axe is dragging me down. Drop axe. Drop axe. Brilliant. Give me a minute. Sheldon. Hold on. I need to figure out how to get the bucket so I can carry the mud past the dragon. Sheldon, you need to work in the morning. I know. Well, then bed, mister. Five more minutes. Really? You're going to risk getting sleepy in the middle of your thermodynamic fluctuation seminar? You know what happens when you yawn in public? Everyone will see my oddly shaped uvula. You don't want that, do you? No. But it's a shame our society mocks the differently uvulated. Who was at the door? A uh, building manager. Uh, they have to fix a pipe, so uh, the water will be off tomorrow from noon to two. That's unacceptable. We're supposed to be given written notice. No, no, it doesn't matter. We'll be at work. What if I spill tomato soup on my shirt and have to come home to change, only to find there's no water for an enzyme soak? Bifurcated uvula, Sheldon. I'll have the chicken noodle. Good night. <laughs> We're going to have to be very quiet. I know how to get the bucket. 